Hello, welcome to Anson Griffith's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we're looking at a well-worn topic, morphology and erosion, dilation, I am fill, all that sort of stuff. And just to say before we do anything else, this source code came from Image Analyst in MATLAB File Exchange and there's the thing there. So there's no need to type anything in, the code is fully downloadable, etc, etc. And I just thought I'd bring it to a slightly wider audience. So just scroll down a little bit. What are we trying to do today? There's my original image and what we're trying to do is we're trying to find uh, the way through the maze so that we enter here and we exit here or vice versa. So we're trying to find our way through the maze. And hopefully I'll explain how we end up with this our path here. Okay. So So we're up the top here and I'll just zoom this a little more so just in case there's any problems seeing it on YouTube. So we know most of these comments and so we read it in there. Now I've slightly modified this from Image Analyst and you know he's written it as a function. I've stripped that out just as a script but look it's the same thing. So we read it in there and where I am now if the number of bands is greater than one we get the red, the green and the blue plane and then we get the standard deviation of uh, the red plane, the green plane and the blue plane and in this if else if statement here uh, we pick the plane with the biggest standard deviation. Now why is Image Analyst doing this? Because the one with the biggest standard deviation will have the biggest dynamic range and that should give you the sharper image. Now as I mentioned uh, in my own comments here you could, just here, you could do an RGB to grey and that would just do a grayscale, but look, either way is valid. And if it's a mono image, you leave it alone. Oh, by the way, just, I almost forgot, when we read in the image, it's uint8, and because we're doing math standard deviation on that sort of stuff, we convert it to single. So remember, uint8 is 0 to 255, single, I'm not too sure, probably mine is million to or plus a million or whatever it is, but and it'll take all the fractions and decimals, etc. So, uh, just here, just I am showing figure one. So if I just go down to there, there's the original image, and we've made that mono. No, it looks black and white, but we've just made it mono. So we have it there and then we're going to do a number of subplots here. So this subplot is the one we've just seen, we'll see that in a minute. And then here we're determining a threshold value or your image analyst and he's doing this by getting the max and the min and then he's scaling up here with a uint8 in front of it. And why a uint8 in front of it? Because remember we can only display it if it's uint8. So he goes to a bit of trouble here to do the max and the min and then do a stretching value but if that's you know too much work I would have said this command here I am 2BW and MATLAB will pick the threshold value so you know, whatever you want to do yourself but I am 2BW would be simpler if the maths here is too complicated so then we get the binary black and white image so let's just go down and have a little look where we are so there we are and we can just scroll a little right and uh, just scroll a little right again and we have the original image and the walls are white okay and the background is black so that's the way we have it here it's just I have it blown up so much here that we can't see it just scroll back up go a little left So there we are, that's the piece of missing text of walls are white here instead of black. Just just there. Okay, so then here we have the black and white image and then we label the walls with using the BW label command. Now I mean I forgot to say if if there's a maze there's two walls and there's a bit of a trick to here. And 
you, I'm not going. You'd have to look up the maths of a maze. You know, but you, that would be the number of things here. So we're going to end up with two walls and labelled. And we're, the important thing here is BW label, comma four. So what does the comma four do? If you remember in class, you know, we're doing pixel by pixel touching each other. And comma four means in the north, south, east, west direction. So we're not. If it was comma eight, you know, we could have north, north, west, west. Southwest, south, southeast, east, and northeast. I would give eight directions, but we're just going north, south, east, west in the maze, and we're using four connection here. So we're getting the labels then, that's there, and we're just labeling it using a HSV color map and a shuffle. So just pick random ones. And we're going to show that down in a second in the third subplot. And just here, if the number of walls doesn't equal to, it's not a perfect maze, so yeah, that's okay. And then we just look at the fourth one here. We could pick either wall, you know, either the f you remember when you're walking through the maze, there's a wall on either side, so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to pick uh, is equal to one and we're going to plot it. So let's just go down here. So these are the four connections in here, and then that's you know, subplot three, and then in four, uh, just we're just that's the you know the red with the black in between, so that's our outline there. So just go back to there. just there so we've just done a plot and the binary image just there by the way I think I mentioned this in class that square bracket will display at the maximum although really there's no need because we only have black and white but just to put in that little comment there that, that close open square bracket close square bracket will display to the maximum that if that was grayscale it would make the darkest to zero and make the white 255 now the next here's the erosion coming in and we're going to do a dilation and as Steve Edens, I think that's the image on it says you this is trial and error there's no way of knowing exactly before you start out what is the dilation or what is the structuring element so obviously he played around with this maze and he reckoned that seven was good so he's going to do a dilation here with um uh, using this, you know, this uh, MATLAB command with ones, so that will give you a seven by seven array. So you're dilating the binary image, and then we're going to use another. So let's just go down here. There's the first subplot, and now we're going to dilate that. Okay. So when we dilate, what does the dilation do? As I try you know, in simple terms, you dilate your pupils to get wider, you make the white bigger, so you're you're dilating, so you're all that black there where I'm flicking over there will be dilated, so you rub out that black and then obviously some of this black is going to be removed here. So you get that's black. Now, just in case you missed yeah, you know, when you're filling it in, just in case, or when you're doing, just in case you left a bit of black behind, you used I am fill. Remind you of that. Um, there's I am fill. What does I am fill? You know, whatever it is, holes do. So if you had an area of white with a little bit of black in the middle of it, and you want to get rid of it, you just say I am fill holes. You showed the filled image. So there might be, I don't know, I don't think there is, but there might be, just say there, just a little isolated black on its own. I am fill it there, and then we erode this guy to get this guy. So where's the, if I leave the mouse there, there's a little bit sticking out, and we'll go down here, that little bit is there. So we're eroding. And sorry, just a slight pause here. 
and yep so in here just another bit here say so we just compared there and there erosion you're making the white smaller and you're making the black bigger so you've almost closed it there um, is there another little example that I can show you oh yeah these sticky out bits here they look like say jetties into the sea down here when you do the erosion you know, you're removing the white or making the black bigger whichever it is so that's just an example there and then we're going to get the difference of this and this the difference of this and this and that'll give you the trace here of the um, of the maze all right so there's your path so i'll just go back to the code so uh, just try and find the right one there's the dilated image there's the filled image and then you erode it and then here solution equals filled image and then you did you stamped it you, you filtered it out using your old image or you basically you just subtract it whichever way you want to do it and then you just display it there now what's he going to do here um so what he's going to do is he picks if the solution you're going to put red on top so if the number of color bands is one you're in monochrome so you're going to make up color planes the red plane solution is 255 and the others are black so solution then is remember that little path you can con concatenate using the cat command here so red plane green plane blue plane remember red is going to be that uh, tray it, that's going to be full red that's going to be zero green and zero green so full red zero green and zero blue just gives full red and then you've con you've made those three and then you're going to um, display that red on top of what you've got and there's the red stamped on top of it so you've just taken the path and made the path red on the original image just go back and look at that just one second So, um, so there you are, that's how you do it, and I hope that helps a little. Okay, so thanks very much for listening.